So the first exercise was to uh, improve the color selector a little bit, make it more user friendly. Let's see how, see how it works now. So if I run uh, uh, the process command line without any parameter, it will print out uh, the menu, but the menu starts from zero. That's because the array in there starts with from zero, and we wanted to make it easy for us programmers. Human beings, as opposed to programmers, uh, are more uh, used to having numbers starting from 1 to 4. So we would like to change this menu now to show numbers from 1 to 4. four. Let's script this and uh, see in the other window, process command line, how we can do that. So what we need, first of all, uh, move this inside, because that was inside in the other examples. After all, this array is only needed when we are, when we got a color from the user. So when we are printing the menu, we, we need to run from 0 to the topmost index, the highest index, in order to be able to extract the value here. But then we need to print out a number which is one larger than the current i. So basically I think I have two approaches. Either we run from 0 to the highest index and then here we increase the number or we run from 1 to 1 higher than this then we can print out the number correct, uh, as it is here but then we'll have to decrease the number here. Because we can put here x uh, so let, let's see actually bo both uh, solutions. So what if we keep running here like this, then here we'll have to print out $i plus 1. But of course Paul cannot print, if, if I run this, then if I run this, let's run it, if I run this, then Paul will just print out the plus 1. That's not what we want. So what we need is we have to move it out from the from the string, because within the string that's not an expression. So we have to move it out, and now that we moved it out, we run it, and we got the menus correctly. So let's pick one, and then we get the value yellow, which is incorrect. So we got the type in the number one, but it was ma mapped to yellow, because, wha because here, when we get the number, we get the number, here from the user, and then we are using that exact number here in order to pick the right color, which is not what we really need. So we need to fix this here as well. Here, once the user typed in a number, now the user is going to type in a number one higher than what's in the array actually, th than the array index, the relevant array index actually, because now we start the numbering on at the user from, on the user view on the menu from 1. So we need to decrease this by 1. So we reduce the num, num by 1 and then we are using that value here. So I can run it again. Still the menu is shown correctly. Let's pick now 1 and it's indeed blue. And if I pick uh, 4 then it's white, so it's working correctly, and if I pick 5, then it tells me it's a bad selection. So this is one of one, one way to, to, sell, to fix this issue, to solve this issue. Uh, but let's see the other way as well. So what happens if we actually here run from 1 to 1 higher than this? Then we can move back the expression here, so we don't need to increase it by 1, because now this is the correct number, but here we, we need to decrease it. This we can do within the string, because now the, the this is in within the, the square bracket, and within the square bracket we can put an expression. So if we run now, Again, we get the correct. We get correctly the menu with the numbers. If I pick one, it chooses blue because the second part of the code is the same. If I run it again and press four, it's working. If I run it again, five, 
it's still working. 